Welcome everyone, Dr. Thor here, get ready for Gnosis. Well, I'd like to inform everybody of the new book that has just been published by Yuri Geller, who's now in his 70s. He's now relocated back to Israel, where he is putting together his museum, which certainly would be a fun thing to go to uh, if you ever want to venture into Israel. But as of this year, him working with Watkins Publishing, which is an interesting little bookstore and publisher in the UK and London in particular. Uh, I was in their actual store many years ago, uh, which is one of the very few metaphysical uh, stores uh, in London in terms of bookshops. As a matter of fact, Watkins started uh, when uh, Madame Lavosky uh, died and there was no publishing of metaphysical books in England going on. What people don't understand is the hub of metaphysics, publishing, and everything else is in the United States, where it has the most publishers, the most activities, period. There really isn't all that much going on outside of the United States, even though this has grown somewhat. Uh, also, people don't understand that used books are not really a big business in any place in Europe. Unlike America, where they have giant stores filled with huge books, you don't find that in Europe. Very interesting. And you don't find that in London, and there's very few stores that carry metaphysical books. You have to, uh, thanks to the internet, you can go online and locate a lot of rare books. But in general, of course, their large new bookstores have uh, new books in it that are metaphysically occult based. But it's quite interesting, and I'm not sure people understand uh, that particular uh, reality as well. So you've got to remember the United States is a huge population and as such, the third largest in the world, as such, can support everything. But let's get back to this book that Yuri Geller just released through Watkins and is available on Kindle and you can get it for about six, seven dollars uh, on Kindle. And it is a important book that you should buy. Do check the link below and buy it uh, through our link so we make a couple of pennies. Uh, you can get it from Amazon. I'm a strong believer in using uh, Kindle books. Saves paper, time, and everything else. They're usually cheaper. And that means you can read it anywhere. So uh, it's a great way uh, to, uh, to function. We need to all convert over and move away from physical products. It's a way of thinking in general uh, for uh, subtle energy physicists, which uh, hopefully all of you are trying to become. Uh, so here's the name of the book is Use Your Psychic Powers to Have It All. Release Your Psy Force for Health, Wealth, Success, and Peace of Mind by Yuri Geller. Now let me give you a little bit of preview here of Yuri Geller. Now uh, a lot of people have attacked him you know, the skeptics and dumb bunkers um, who are criminals, stage performers, clown college graduates, you know, the usual people you'll find uh, uh, going against fact. <laughs> and of course, uh, they have their little team of cohorts. You know, Penn and Teller, uh, the guy who never graduated high school, that has a dungeon uh, that was... Uh, grossly overweight all his life, eating boxes of Krispy Kremes uh, because he's so analytical, you know. You know, Penn, oh, you're kind of fat. Cut down the Krispy Kremes to only five boxes a day. Oh, can't figure that out. Oh, where's my whip? So the whole idea is this is the kind of people you're talking about. Brian Dunning, a, cl uh, a convicted felon who goes to schools and talks about science that is proper. So these are the people that are going against Yuri Geller. And it's just like many of my uh, detractors, they're all involved directly with criminal activities and organized crime. Just as simple as that, people. Get that. Yuri Geller has been tested by numerous scientists and proven to have great empowerment and has been used by smart people all over the world, intelligence agency, uh, investment companies, very successfully. Now, what I like about the introduction of this book is that he clarifies what he's done in a short, 
quick fashion. This is a pretty small book, and I think I listened to it with two or three hours that was read to me from my Kindle. Uh, but he goes into this and, and shows exactly what he's done. And this is irrefutable. This isn't magic tricks. This isn't some deviant who picked up teenagers in libraries um, who run these investigation agencies who have a long history of deviant crook activity. So the whole idea is this is a guy who's helped the world, who's trying to get people to work together, to heal the world, to do positive things and help people. Uh, the skeptics are trying to put money in their pockets working for large criminal corporations which they are paid off by I allege. They don't have any good in mind. They're not trying to help science go to the next level. They want to keep you in Fred Flintstone land, otherwise known as the Stone Age. Uh, and they don't want anything refuting that. And that's the problem with science. And science is a criminal pursuit by illogical, dangerous people who are destroying this planet by being stuck in a reality they refuse to move out of. So Geller, uh, who has proven himself time and time again in scientific labs by multiple scientists, not some that were tricked or stupid, a uh, whole bunch of people for years and years he's been under testing for 20 or 30 years one way or another. And every test he's ever went into, he's done extremely well with. Now, what other controversies here in this nonsense that people talk about this Johnny Carson? He didn't fail on Johnny Carson. He refused to participate because Johnny Carson, who gave hundreds of thousands of dollars to the skeptic societies, was setting him up, and he knew it. But that's the kind of guy Johnny was in between pounding his wife that he was alleged to do and his kind of nasty attitudes in general and his government connections, his ex-Navy connections. And he was even a uh, amateur boxer. Old Johnny had a nasty, nasty way about him. So the whole idea is that that was a setup and it's a pretty nasty thing to do to your guests. He coordinated with the unamazing Randy, that well-known deviant, as has been alleged and as there are tapes out there. Uh, so the whole idea is that uh, that's what happened there. So the point is, if he was ever caught, and I don't ever see anything that he was caught, you know, these skeptics make up things all the time. And they say, well, look at what he did here. Well, I don't see him doing that. Well, yeah, yeah, he did that. What are you talking about? So, um... It's all nonsense, and if you know the tricks, and I know the tricks, you can watch somebody and see what they're doing. Um, like uh, the unamazing Randy did with Barbara Walters bending a key where he distracted her, moved it to his, his strong hand, and bent it while holding it next to his chair. Pretty obvious, Randy. Well, that's the kind of preschool nonsense you get from the dumb bunkers, uh, the magicians, uh, the clown cool uh, school graduates. So this is what you, uh, you get in general. So um, whether he was caught with it, who cares? He's making a living. These guys go out and trick you all the time and make hundreds of millions of dollars while deceiving you in these magic shows, which are always glossed with, ha, 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 it's not real, is it? Uh, while Penn and Teller tend to be a little more honest, the bottom line is Penn and Teller are still working under the guise of this could be real. And they don't disclose how they do things because they want it mystical. They're a little bullet trick. So this is nonsense done by the lowest level of people. So as we move through all of these areas, we need to understand that this guy knows what he's been doing. He's been doing it for 50 years. He was a sensation. He's written some great books. Now, none of these books, including this one, are profound. But what is profound? Do you really want technical talk? Uh, I can give that to you. Those are the kind of things that people don't listen to and certainly don't understand. But he's written a lot of great books. They're all uh, filled with love and empowerment, and that's what he strives for, unlike the other ones that are looking to destroy. 
They certainly, these dumb bunkers, don't go after the government and religion very much, or if they do, they do it once and then they go after. Like, it's a real important job to go after so-called fake psychics. Yeah, you're doing us a great service, aren't you? Uh, you won't go after the fake science, uh, people uh, that go and talk about the mystical black holes and that goofball who uh, read, uh, wrote a book on it and then says, well, there is no black holes. It destroys it for me. It doesn't just, I mean, it's unbelievable the kind of nonsense, the garbage that spews out of the diarrhea mouth of scientists. So let's get back to this book, though. Uh, and uh, it's really probably one of the best books ever written that is self-help with a psychic touch to it as well. One of the problems it's empowering people is how to use it. So he goes into how to use it, meaning how to apply psychic powers to regular world situations, how to handle investments, how to handle your boss, how to handle your relationships, how to handle your money. He talks about all this. He talks about how to apply his empowerments, which are simple, yet in the simplicity, there's a great empowerment. I've always talked about this. But one of the problems is I give people missiles and they don't know how to shoot them. Them, or they are using them in very poor manners. You know, life is more than this comic book reality, this movie reality of I'm super empowered and I'm going to dominate everybody like puppets. Well, I'm afraid it doesn't work like that. This kind of high level empowerment uh, is almost non-existent. The problem is, is that when you are manipulating people, hopefully for a higher, better goal that all of you benefit from, and that usually is the case uh, if you're a positive person, is that you're not going about it right. You don't know how to handle it. You're not doing the regular things you have to do in life that you then empower psychically. So this is a serious problem. Well, it's been solved. And you can solve most of your problems for a little tiny, tiny bit of money, people, for only seven U.S. dollars. So this is a must read by any This has moved up to the uh, front part of my recommendations of any book you should read, of course, other than mine. But mine are very technical books, and they're not necessarily for beginners. Uh, and, of course, Geller doesn't know anything about at least stating it. And people that are able to manifest uh, on a pure psychic level uh, generally are not using tools. The key to the future is tools. And, of course, that's where radionic tech comes in. But you still need the foundations I always talk about. And he gives you some very, very important tips on how to develop empowerment on the basic levels. Then he shows you what you have to do to, uh, to apply it, how to use it in a work situation, how to get what you desire from your job. And of course, everybody's underpaid and overworked. This is how the world works. So he talks about this. And not in a general manner. He gives you specific ways of manipulating your environment and then empowering it psychically to get what you want. Well, this is what I've been talking about all the time. People just want to run in there like a bulldozer and have people act like puppets. Well, most likely this would get you into serious trouble and would backfire on you anyway. Life is complicated. You need to work within the systems. You are not an entity unto yourself and you can't go around making everybody in your life puppets. It doesn't work in 99% of the situations. And while psychic domination is powerful and has been done in an unreliable way, but certainly it has, to make people do things. People have done this in more direct manners, uh, particularly with meeting people, uh, to control them more. So this certainly is something that can be done. Using his techniques will uh, make this much more successful for you. But there is no method of making anybody a puppet. And certainly, uh, Geller hasn't done that either uh, with his life in general. But this book is fantastic. It takes you through all the basic steps. Uh, it sums up his career. Um, he had a great book um, 
that is out of print now, which had all sorts of photographs and information on his life and all this written down in greater detail. Um, and it had uh, photographs of his hands you could put your pictures on. This book does not have that. Let me make that clear. But, you know, watch for that. We're always looking for that book. But it's very rare and it's very expensive. But here you go. Here's a book that really gives you everything you need, tells you how to use it in your life. Very, very rare. Uh, step by step, he tells you what you need to do to be successful and how to manipulate your environment. And of course, that's what life is all about. It's manipulation of your environment. People do this in many ways. If you're pretty, you're manipulating people. If you have fancy stuff, yachts and cars, well, this manipulates people. If you have money in general, this manipulates people. This is all part of the actual um, way life works. So you use what you have. Now, the average person doesn't have much of that. Um, some people have great charisma and are able to manipulate people. So, But the average person needs uh, psychic empowerment and you need tools to empower what you're doing to influence people so that everyone benefits ultimately. So if you're successful because you're a good person, uh, or at least you're no worse than anybody else, this will make a better environment for all that you benefit, your family benefits, the people around you, etc. So these are fantastic um, understandings that this short and powerful book gives you. Uh, so I highly, highly recommend it. Make sure you check out the link below. Make sure you uh, hit the like button. Make sure you, um, if you're not subscribe to this channel you do if you want to hear the best you want to hear what is real and what works you're gonna find it only here until next time